Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another World Cup review. Tunisia won France nil. A bit of a surprise victory for Tunisia, and his uh, and a historic win for them over the reigning champions. Even though, yes, it doesn't matter. Tunisia will finish third, and finish third. Well, France will continue to finish top anyway, so it didn't really matter. I, I mean, Tunisia would have really needed Denmark to score. Didn't really happen, but for Tunisia, a massive, massive, massive victory in terms of getting the better of a team like France. It might not mean much, but beating a set of France is always huge. It's always huge for the team, for the players, so fair enough, fair plays to them. Um, let's talk about this group. Uh, I just did the Australia Denmark review. If you guys haven't already, you can check it out. I'll put a link on your screen. Um, but as for the other two sides, France and Denmark, uh, France, France and Tunisia, France finished top. I mean, this was a bit of a sloppy, sloppy game for them. They made nine changes. I mean, only two players who played against Aus Denmark actually who played against Denmark um, started Varane. And Tramani. So, nine changes to the team with the likes of Mbappe, Hernandez, Giroud, Griezmann. You know, these players who have been getting the game time, playing all out for the rotational players. It's not easy. And the manager, Deschamps, would have known and knew that whatever happens, we'll probably finish top anyway. So, he went for it, he gambled it. Um, he probably didn't expect that poor performance, especially in that first 45, before Mbappe came on, before Griezmann came on, before even William Saliba came on. That performance in the 45 was very, very poor from France. Very poor, very poor. Tunisia keep ca came in, coming at them from both wings. You know, they were sending balls in, the crosses were coming in. It was perfect for Tunisia. They just couldn't get the final product, the end product. They did score, it was offside right fully, so I think it was Gandhi. Can't remember. But they kept pushing. Tunisia kept pushing for that goal. And then in the second half, in the fifty eighth minute, Wabi Kazri got them the goal. It was a, a, a good finish. You know, it's not the most powerful finish ever, but he got it done. And then he got clattered as well. Um but that was it. And after that, you can see the subs coming on for France. Mbappe, Griezmann, Dembele towards the end. These subs came on and made a huge difference. Especially Kylian Mbappe. He came on. He did so well. That chance he had denied by the goalkeeper. I think it was Diamond. Brilliant, right? That is brilliant skill. Brilliant play from Kylian Mbappe. Look, I'm a Real Madrid fan. I, I, I can't forget and I will not forget what he did to us Real Madrid fans and to the club in the summer but I can't deny as well the quality of a player Kylian Mbappe is he is a absolutely incredible player and he changed the game for France they did score uh, he was offside um, at least was given there was drama drama 98th minute goal for France by Griezmann and then everyone was wow they were celebrating the Tunisia fans were so down the stadium was probably fully fully you know silent by the Tunisia side then the referee said it was went to VAR and then he was offside and they got away with it you know um, but overall that performance for 60 65 minutes from Tunisia really really de deserved the victory but they sort of ran out of you know energy towards the end you know the legs the stamina it wasn't there towards the end but they still managed to not concede to France for 20 30 25 30 minutes so fair enough and it doesn't change much but like I said you know it is a historic victory and they'll be looking back at their World Cup going okay that's pretty decent you know we got four points um, with France and Australia having six but we finished above a Denmark side who got one. So for Denmark, I did talk about them briefly in the last review. I want to talk about them now, but for this group at least, 
Um, France go through first, Australia second, Tunisia third, Denmark fourth. It's how it is. It's how Group D ends. Ooh. Um, and one more thing, the hate on Kamavinga is unreal. Look, he might not have the best performance ever, but the the fact that people are slandering him, saying, "Oh my God, Kamavinga plays," and they lose. Do you know that football is a team game? It isn't just a one v one. One player is the only player. Yes, Kamavinga might not have had the best game ever. He did play a left back. He was playing a left back. You know, he it's not his position. He's a centre midfielder. They play him left back, left back. Yes, left back. So it is not his fault that he was played left back. But the performance, okay, fair enough. It might not have been the best performance. It might not have been a good performance. But the amount of hate on Kamavinga alone suggest to me that they are actually targeting Real Madrid players. Who in that team was poor? Mandanda was poor, for that goal conceded. The back line, okay, fair enough, Kamavinga, okay. The midfield, don't act like Ganduzi and Veratu and these players were any better, okay. I mean, the front line, Kolomwani, you know, did he do much? Kings de Coman had an incredible chance, which he did horribly with that touch. So, you know, as much as France were poor and Kamavinga was poor, I hate this sort of, oh, Kamavinga plays and France lose. This agenda against Kamavinga and even just Real Madrid players in general is always happened. And they're always doing it. Why, what, why must you say, oh, of course, when Kamavinga plays, France lose? You're literally targeting Kamavinga. You're literally targeting him. I hate this. I, I just want to put my point out here. If this is any player, any player, you'll be the same. It's not just, oh, Kamavinga plays for Real Madrid, that's why I'm defending him. No, it does not make sense. It doesn't make sense. Who Like, who, like why are you blaming one player for a poor performance but saying, oh, of course, when he plays, they, they lose. And should I put everything on him when the whole team wasn't good enough? They were simply not as good as Tunisia were. Come on, guys. This hate is unreal. But that will be it for today's review between Tunisia and France. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's review. Hit the like button if you guys did. Subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.